Hi, my name is Lorraine at Flow Hot Yoga and Pilates and I'm just going to take you through some spine mobility movements that you can do in your own home at any time of day for any capability, flexibility, fitness or strength, um, including the kids as well. Um, our spine um, is something that we obviously need to look after. Um, there's a quote by Joseph Pilates that your um, spine is old if it's inflexible at 30. If it's flexible by the time you're 60, then you're not considered old. Um, so we need to look after our spine, so this is a great workout for that. Okay, let's get started. We're just going to start um, doing a little bit of a warm up so we can sit as comfortably as we want. We can sit with a pillow underneath our bottom if we can't cross our legs slightly. We don't have to cross our legs the entire way if we don't need to. And we're just going to start with some nice shoulder rolls. So let's just start by rolling the shoulders up and back, trying to relax the neck as we do so. Just being mindful as we're moving our shoulders here. We're not sticking the neck out the front and we're not dipping too far into the chest, but we're keeping it nice and relaxed. And let's go the other direction. Let's go forwards with the shoulders now. I'm trying to feel the full range of movement. Try not to go too fast. Just slow it down a little bit. You can close your eyes if you want to. Just feel the edges there of the shoulder blades moving around the bones as we do so. And let's just do a few shrugs. As we come up, let's breathe out. Breathe in as we take the shoulders all the way to our ears. And out through our mouth. Let's do that a few more times. In through the nose as the shoulders come up. And out again. One more time. And out as we relax. Let's take care of taking our left ear to our left shoulder now. It's getting a nice stretch along the back of the neck here and the side of the neck. And again, coming to the middle and coming to the right hand side, taking that ear as far as down as it goes. Not pushing here, we're just gently letting the neck fall from one side to the next. And let's, as we come to this left hand side this time, let's just hold here and take a big inhalation through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's come to the middle, to the side, taking a hold here, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Come back to the middle. Let's just take our head and our chin down. Let's look down towards our navel, taking our chin as far as we can to the neck, taking a big inhalation. And exhale. Taking our head towards the ceiling, eye gaze as far as we can, feeling a nice stretch in the front of the neck, which we very rarely do because we're always in this position with our phones, our iPads, our computers, cooking, writing, whatever we're doing, reading. Let's take our head all the way back. Just think about elongation of the spine here, making sure we're not arching, we're not slouching. Just thinking about getting a bit of length in the spine here, making sure that everything's engaged. Closing the mouth, open the mouth, close, open, close. Big inhalation, all the way to the top of the lungs. Out through the mouth, let's do that one more time. And coming back again. I'm just going to take some circles now. Do some full circles all the way around, taking the eye gaze as we go, all the way to the left, to the ceiling to the right and to the floor. Go one more time in this direction. Feeling all the clicking in the neck. Let's go in reverse. Taking the head back as far as we can to the side, to the front, all the way. Yeah, lovely. Well, there's a lot of clicks there. 
Right, now we're just going to do some side stretches. So we're going to place our left hand on the side of it. It's just nice and relaxed. We're going to take our right palm to the side. First of all, I just want you to think about elongating through the spine. That means that we're not slouching, we're not overly compensating here. We're just nicely engaged. We don't want to be drawing in the core too much. We, we, we talk a lot about the core um, in our classes um, and in Pilates and yoga. One of the things that we don't want to be doing, we don't want to be over tensing and over gripping. Um, what that does is it puts our spine out of alignment um, and can cause some problems down the line where you're over anticipating movement. Um, so we just want to gently draw it in, be aware of it, just gently drawing it in. So if you're putting on a tight pair of jeans and you want to get the zip up, just gently drawing it in and just being aware that we're engaged um, in that area. So we're just going to take a big inhalation. So we take our arm out to the right and we take a nice little stretch as far as we can. Again, we're not pushing anything here. We're nice and relaxed, feeling a nice stretch along the arm all the way down, making sure that this right butt cheek is grounded to the floor, that we're not lifting here with our stretch because then we're going into a different stretch. And let's just take that arm back down to the other side reaching our left arm all the way over to the side here. This time, can we just take our eye gaze up towards our hand and let's follow it as it comes all the way back round again. Let's take this hand over all the way. We take it over. Can we come and take it next to our other hand and follow it all the way back round again? Let's do the same with this side. Let's follow the eye gaze, follow the hand as we come all the way around as that hand comes all the way down to that side and coming back in again. Let's take both our hands towards the ceiling, our eye gaze towards the ceiling and coming back again. Eye gaze towards the ceiling, hands towards the ceiling. Stretch, big inhalation. Exhale as we draw the shoulders down and come back in again. Next, I want you to take your right hand to your left knee. And we're going to go into a nice spinal twist here. So we're going to take our left hand and we're going to press it um, onto the floor by the middle of our back. Um, or if you're extra flexible and used to this type of movement, you can take it all the way around so you can see me waving. I'm just going to take it on the floor here because I find that it helps me elongate my spine. Big inhalation. And as we twist, we exhale. Take the eye gaze as far as we can behind us. Inhale. Exhale as we come all the way back round. Let's take our left hand to our right knee. Let's take that right hand to the back. Elongation of the spine. Big inhalation as we twist and take our eye gaze and our head and our neck looking all the way around to the side as far as we can. Inhale, exhale. We're going to go around to the left hand side again. See if we can get any further this time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale as we come back down again. We're going to come onto our hands and knees and come into a very common pose for yoga, which is our child pose. If you have any knee issues, you can put a pillow underneath you or a towel underneath you um, if you don't have a mat. We can keep the knees together in our child pose, or you can have your knees or your heels apart. It's entirely up to you. If you take the legs wider, you're going to feel less of a stretch in the lower back and um, a nice slight stretch on the inside of the thighs here. I actually prefer that one because I like to get a stretch on the inside of the thighs, or you can do a mixture of both. We're going to start off with our knees together. I'm just going to come up and take a big inhalation and exhale as we drop our shoulders, feeling nice and relaxed. We're going to place our hands on the floor, just going to gently and very slowly see if we can get our forehead down to the floor. If that's not available to you, which it isn't for many people, we can place two fists down in front of us. 
Wait a while, you might be able to get one fist down. You might be able to get down as you place one palm on top of the other. Or if you're feeling flexible this morning without feeling any pinching or sharp pains in the lower back or anywhere else, you can take the forehead down. You can place your hands, palms up to the ceiling either side of the feet here. Take a big inhalation into the back. And exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now, if you wanted to, we can um, engage a little bit further in this stretch. We can take both of our hands out in front and put our fingertips towards the floor, almost like we're making little scoopies um, with, our, with our palms here. And this is going to take the stretch into the shoulders. I have very stiff shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Can reach a little bit further here. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to take our left hand over to the left. We're going to take our right hand on top of that left hand as far as we can. We're going to feel a stretch down the right hand side here, my QL muscle. Um, it's a very important muscle that helps stabilize our spine. Um, has lots of functions and it's one that I struggle with with back pain and back injuries. Big inhalation here. And exhale. Taking the hands, walking the hands back around. Let's take that right hand as far over as we can and let's get the left hand to join it. If you can't join it, that's fine. You can have the hands apart. Um, if you want the extra little bit of a juicy stretch, you can take it all the way over. It's also a very good lat stretch. So your lats underneath your armpits here, they can get very tight. Um, if you do a lot of um, swimming um, or lots of other types of exercises. Big inhalation and exhale. Walk our hands towards the middle. We're going to get a, a nice thigh stretch here. So we're going to take the, um, the knees about as wide as our mat or as comfortable as for you. Everyone's different with their flexibility. We're going to take our hands out the front. We're going to come down as far as we can. Taking a big inhalation. You can engage further if you want those, that shoulder stretch as well or you can relax the arms. Big inhalation. And exhale. Take that inhalation all the way up to the back. Fill it as long as you can. Exhale it out. Excellent. Right, next we're gonna come into um, our um, knee stretches. Um, so we're gonna come onto our backs however you want to. And we're gonna take our left leg nice and long. We're gonna put our right knee bent and we're gonna interlace our fingers just below the knee, not on the knee, so on the calf, whatever's available for you. you. Give yourself a little bit of a wiggle, making sure that your shoulders aren't up by the side of your ears um, and that you're nice and comfortable in your back. And we're going to squeeze gently this knee into the chest, into roughly about your shoulder as far as you can, just doing what's comfortable for you. If you feel a big pinch inside of your hip here, then just release it a little bit. Do you want to feel a little bit of a stretch, everyone's different, um, but you want to feel a little bit of a, an uneasiness of a stretch there. So that's your hip flexor working, which is connected to your back of your ribs. Big inhalation here. And let's blow it out. Inhale. And exhale. Take that foot out long, the leg out long. Let's draw the left knee in. Again, interlacing those fingers. Just taking a nice squeeze in the inner um, hip here. As far as we can, big inhale. Exhale. So 
going to take that other leg up and we're going to draw both of our, I've got an annoying fly here, both of our knees together and we're going to take both of our arms and squeeze our knees into our chest. Now, depending on your flexibility here, depending on how much of your arms you can get together, you can hold your wrists, you can hold your hands, your finger, interlace your fingers together, or if you're super flexible, you can come up and try and grab your elbows as you come back down and squeeze those knees in. You'll see that my bottom might lift slightly off the floor, so I'm not quite there yet, so I'm just going to release a bit to see if I can get that bottom all the way onto the floor. You don't want the bottom to be coming up. Whilst we're in this position, it's actually quite nice just to rock left and right. This is mobilising your vertebrae and the spine, it's compressing the muscles in your back and releasing. This is a beautiful, beautiful move to use to mobilise your spine in the morning or in the evening to get that fluid going into your discs. You can rock, rock as much or as little as you want. I can come all the way around to the side. I'm getting a really nice feeling in my muscles here. It just feels nice. If it doesn't feel nice, don't do it. If it's sore, don't do it. We rock. I'm going to take our hands onto our knees here. And this is again another one of my favourite stretches to release my lower spine here. We're going to take our knees and I'm going to roll them around. This is going to mobilise into our hips here and our lower spine and releasing the muscles in those lower and the lower back. So I'm going to draw some nice big circles or you can do little circles and take the legs apart and bring the knees, the heels together if you want to. Let's go in the reverse direction. Doing whatever feels nice for you. This is a beautiful hip lubricator if you've got problems with your hips go in whichever direction you feel you want to swap it around even hold it there if you want to pressing out feeling a nice stretch on the inner thighs there oh it's nice beautiful pressing those thighs in getting a nice squeeze where it feels juicy that's where you want to be squeezing a little bit where you feel a little pinch beautiful is available for you and you like rocking we can take our hands behind the back of our thighs and cross the legs over if you want or leave them where they are we're just going to try and round our spine a little here come into a little rocking motion again this is mobilizing that spine getting all the fluid in our vertebrae and our discs moving around we can come as far back as far forward as you want to and all the way to the back and coming back up. I'm going to do some spine twists here. Um, I'm just going to take our feet to, um, to the forwards. We're going to take our right leg out and the left leg is going to come in. I'm just going to take our right arm and our right elbow over to that in, outside of that left knee. And we're just going to take that left hand, very similar move to what we did previously. Take that left hand on the floor, elongate through the spine, inhale, Exhale as we look backwards. Let's just take that head a little bit further as we come back, feeling that stretch. Let's swapping the legs over here, left leg goes long. And it's twisting around to the right. You can use the, um, the left elbow for leverage to get more of a twist in that spine. Making sure that we're elongating through the spine and coming back again. Um, next we're going to come on to all fours, uh, four point kneeling, again if you have issues with your knees you can put pillows or a towel underneath your knees and we're going to take our hands um, roughly about shoulder width distance. So we're going to do a, talk a little bit about alignment here, so first of all we want to make sure that we can see the mat between our fingers and then our middle fingers are roughly facing forwards. Next what we want to be looking at is we want to be gripping slightly with our fingers here. We don't want to have a flat hand, we want to have a slight grip here, almost like a tiger claw. Next, what we want to be looking at is our elbows. Are our elbows going in or are they going out? 
Um, I'm hypermobile, so my um, elbows can sometimes look a bit funky. So what we want to make sure is that our, our um, creases of our elbows are facing towards each other. And that means the, um, the elbows are facing out and the inside of the elbows and the, on the arm are facing each other. Um, and there's a slight bend there. Next, we want to be looking at the shoulder alignment. So our shoulders should be directly above or just slightly back from our wrist. We don't want to be coming forward here because we're going to be putting too much pressure into the wrist. So whilst we're in this position as well, we want to be looking at our knee alignment with our hip. So our hips should be directly above our knees. Our feet and toes can be curled over or flat, whatever is comfortable for you. Next, we're going to look at our neck alignment. Um, I have a forward neck. That means I tend to walk around a lot like this because of my computer work that I do and because I'm a fast walker and I think that if I put my head forward, I'm going to go faster. So we just want to draw that chin in towards the chest and making sure that we've got a nice length there at the back of the spine. We're talking about the spine. The next thing that we want to be looking at is where is our spinal alignment? So if we curve ourselves and allow ourselves to dump here, we're going to see a nice big curve in our lumbar spine. We can sometimes lose the stomach here as well. So we want to be drawing that all the way in. We do that by tilting our pelvis forward. So almost if you were a dog and someone was pulling your tail underneath you, you can tuck your pelvis in or you can move it out. I want you to do a few of these little, we call these pelvic tilts or pelvic curl. And we can move that backwards and forwards. We're not moving any other part of our body, we're just moving the pelvis. We'll think about drawing in the belly button as we're doing the pelvic tilts. So gently drawing it in like we talked about earlier. Let's just reset our alignment here. We're going to do what we call some cat cows. So thinking about all of our alignments, quite a lot to think about. And that's very good with yoga and Pilates is um, it's mindfulness meditation. You're, you're thinking about your alignment, where your positioning of your body is, and focused on that rather than other things that might be concerning you at the moment. So in this position, we're going to do our angry cat position. So what we're going to do is if you look at my shoulders, I can drop into my shoulders and allow my shoulder blades to drop in and I can push them away. So this upper part of our lumbar, can move, of our um, spine can move quite a lot or a little. Now, because we're always very hunched over, um, looking at our computers with our neck dropped, we can tend to be what we call very kyphotic, which means a big curve in the upper back here. We used to call it the widow's hunch. Um, so what we want to be able to do is get a bit of mobilization in there with our cat, angry cat position. So what we're doing is we're going to drop our um, shoulders and then we're going to push them all the way. Once we've done that, we're going to tuck the pelvis in like we did before. And we're going to create a nice arch from our lumbar all the way through to the top of our thoracic and cervical. So we should be looking roughly between our legs here, or even if you can, can you look at your navel? So we're stretching as much as we can the whole spine into a nice arch and curve. We're going to go the opposite way. This is our cow position. So we're going to come and we're going to loosen and drop everything. Just keep engaging that core as we drop. Letting the eye gaze travel forwards, letting the lumbar spine drop as we take ourselves forwards. And we notice that we've dropped in the shoulder area here as well, the back of the shoulders. And we're just going to take our eye gaze as far up as we can. We're going to take our butt and Beyonce booty as far up as we can. And we're going to enjoy that opposite curve. And then we're going to press into the heels of our hands as again we create that beautiful arch with the pelvis and the back and the whole of the back is nicely arched. Let's take a big inhalation here. Oh, can you feel that stretch any further as you inhale? Exhale. So we take ourselves into our cow position. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Do a few more of these. Inhale. Can you take the eye gaze any further? Can we push any further into the heel of the hands? Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Take our knees together and our heels together. Let's come into our child pose again. Let's take our hands by the side of our feet. Let's close our eyes. Take a big inhalation through the nose. Feeling the back of the ribs expanding. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We need to think about when you're lying here, that your eyes are nice and relaxed. Your eyelids are relaxed. Your forehead is relaxed. Is your jaw relaxed? Is the back of your neck relaxed? Take your focus to your shoulders. Are they relaxed? Take your focus to your arms. Are they relaxed? Take your focus to your fingers. Clench them. Relax your arms, your shoulders, your neck, your face is relaxed. Your back, your back is relaxed. Your legs are relaxed. Relax your legs. Your feet and your toes are relaxed. Your feet, your toes are relaxed. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take our hands to our mat. Let's turn ourselves around to our kneeling position, how we started our class. Put our hands together. Take a big inhalation. Exhale. I hope you enjoyed our mobility class for our spine today and I hope you'll join us again soon. Um, stay safe and sane and um, have a great day. Namaste.